this video revises some of the key calculations required when looking at 3D Pythagoras and trigonometry inside a cuboid. Now the first length you may be asked to find is the length from A to C. And the key thing to realise here is that AC is the hypotenuse of a right angled triangle which if I sketch out to one side looks like this. So AB is 5, BC is 4 and this length here is the one we're looking to find. Now because this length is the hypotenuse we can use Pythagoras to find its length. So to find x, x squared equals 5 squared plus 4 squared, which is 25 plus 16. So x squared equals 41. So the length of x is just the square root of 41 which as a decimal equals 6.4 to one decimal place. And the key skill for this is to look for the right angled triangles. Now the next length you might be asked to find is the length from A to G. And this can be called the leading diagonal. And the key thing here is to see this right angled triangle here within the shape. So we've got the length from A to C, the height up the shape, and this length here, which we want to find, which I'll call Y. Now we know the height is 3. We also now know the length across here. This was the answer from before, which was 6.4 to 1 decimal place. So to find y, we then just use Pythagoras again. I know that y squared equals 3 squared plus 6.4, that's to 1 dp squared. So y squared equals 9 plus now 6.4 squared, that came from the third. So when I square the accurate decimal, I get back to 41. So be careful there to be as accurate as you possibly can. This 6.4 squared gets back to 41. So y squared equals 50. Therefore, the length of y must be the square root of 50, which if we work that out, is 7.07 .07 to 2 dp. Now the final calculation in this video is to find the angle here, which I'm going to call theta. And it's the angle which the line AG makes with the horizontal. So the angle AG makes with the horizontal is given by this angle here, theta. Now if I sketch out the triangle again, it is just the one above. Then here's theta. I know this is 3. I know the length here was 6.4 or root of 41. I also actually know as well y, which is 7.07 .07 or root of 50. Now to find the angle theta, I've got three different options, all of which use Sokotoa. Now here's the angle, I know the adjacent, I know the opposite, I also know the hypotenuse. And I can pick either two of these sides and use Sokotoa to find 
the angle. I'm going to pick, just for the sake of it, the adjacent and the opposite. Then what Sokotoa tells us is that, because I've picked the O and the A, that tan of the angle equals the opposite, which is 3, over the adjacent, which is root of 41. So to find the angle, I do the inverse tan of 3 over root 41. So I press shift tan on the calculator, enter 3 over root 41, and from this I get the angle is 25.1 degrees to 1 dp.